Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and we love to help the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. In today's video, I'm excited to show you how to remove scuffs and scratches from your leather bags. With a little bit of attention and the right products, you can easily extend the life of your bag and keep it looking great. If you have any questions or comments during this video, please ask them in the comment section below. I enjoy getting back to as many of those as possible. In today's video, I'm gonna be repairing my favorite briefcase. The products we're gonna use in this video can be used on almost any large leather accessory, from a briefcase to a piece of luggage or even a portfolio. There's three products that we have here at the Hangar Project from Saphir that are great for large leather goods. The first one is the Saphir Juvicure Recoloring Cream. The Saphir Juvicure is a recoloring and repair cream used to recolor damaged leather. Its formulation is very similar to the Saphir Renovating Repair Cream, but is more fluid, allowing it to be used over larger areas. It's great for more permanent recoloring of damaged leather. The Saphir Juvicure, most fundamentally, is just a formulation of pigments and resins. The pigments help add color, and the resins help build up and re-smooth damaged leather surfaces. The Saphir Canadian Restorative Cream is a total care product specifically formulated for use on large leather accessories like leather bags or even leather jackets where it's important to not have waxes or color rubbing off. It's less of a recoloring cream than the Saphir Juvicure and more like a polish or cream that you would use on shoes that'll fade on the medium turn. So it's not a permanent product, but it's a great product that's gonna nourish, rejuvenate, help provide a little bit of recoloring and a small amount of waxes to help re-wax the surface. After treating a bag with the Saphir Juvicure, it's important to then apply the Saphir Canadian Restorative Cream afterwards to help seal the product and prevent any color discharge. It can also be used alone though, when more permanent recoloring is not necessary. And last, we have the Saphir Renovating Repair Cream, which is a resin-based leather recolorant that is meant for more specific repair to small areas. The combination of resin and pigments allow the product to fill deep scratches while recoloring. It's exceptional for use on the corners of leather bags and that are always the first to scratch and damage. Deciding which of these products to use is a function of how large and how deep the affected area is. For more regular care, you would use something like the Saphir Canadian. And for more permanent kind of deep repair of scuffs and scratches, you would use the Saphir Juvicure and the Saphir Renovating Repair Cream. In today's video, I'm gonna be repairing my favorite leather briefcase. This is a Serafin uh, piece from Italy. Uh, they're based in Milan and they do a lot of the bag manufacturing for the Italian houses. Uh, and I absolutely love this bag. It's really more of an overnight bag, but I use it as a briefcase. And the reason I love it so much is because it's large enough uh, that I can really throw anything into this. It's almost like a lady's handbag. I mean, it is a black hole of all of my stuff. I can also use it for short trips because it's large enough to accommodate my laptop and everything I need for work, but also a shirt, some toiletries, and even an extra pair of shoes. As you can see, this bag is in pretty terrible condition. It's like most people's briefcases. Uh, we just don't take care of them. Part of the wear is what really makes a bag personal and gives it character. But here I think uh, it's reached the point where it needs a little bit of total care. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix some of the more affected areas using the Saphir Juvicure. Then I'm going to polish uh, and condition the entire bag using the Saphir Canadian. And then I'm gonna touch up some of the more damaged spots, especially on the edges and some of these really deep scuffs and scratches using the Saphir Renovating Repair Cream. So first I'm gonna apply the Saphir Juvicure uh, using my finger. You can also use a cotton chamois if you're worried about getting your hands dirty, but I really prefer to use my finger in applying these products because it allows me to feel the application onto the bag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna look for some of the more damaged areas of the bag and just apply the Juvicure to those specific areas. Allow the Juvicure 15 minutes to be absorbed into the leather and to dry. Now that the Saphir uh, Juvicure has had an opportunity to dry, we're going to polish the entire bag with the Saphir Canadian Cream. This is going to condition the entire bag, provide a little bit of recoloring, uh, but it's also going to help seal the Juvicure to, to, to make sure that it doesn't rub off. I'm gonna apply this since it's on a larger surface area using a cotton chamois, and then we're going to allow it 15 minutes to dry. Now that the Saphir Canadian has had time to dry, I'm gonna buff it off using a horsehair brush, or you can even use a cotton chamois. 
So the renovating repair cream is the last thing you want to apply and you want to apply it to the smaller, more damaged areas of the bag. The renovating repair cream is a thick cream that's almost like toothpaste and it's really not meant to be used on large areas. But for small areas that are really badly damaged, it is absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna take some of this black renovating repair cream on my finger and I'm just going to apply it onto the affected areas using my finger to smooth it out. Then after I'm done applying it, simply allow it 15 minutes to dry. Now, as you can see, with a little bit of effort in the right products, such as these Saphir uh, leather repair products, uh, my briefcase has really been uh, totally renewed. I'm actually quite surprised and impressed at just how great this looks. Uh, as you can see, uh, a lot of the uh, surface scuffing and scratching and discoloration, uh, for the most part, has been totally repaired. Uh, it's got a nice little shine to it, uh, you know, giving it a little bit of new life. And uh, otherwise, it looks uh, almost new, but still having its original character. So to summarize, uh, what I did to treat this leather briefcase was uh, using the Saphir Juvicure to fix any of the uh, larger areas of discoloration uh, or damage to the leather. Uh, then I conditioned and polished the bag using the Saphir Canadian Cream, uh, which again has beeswax, has pigment, and nourishes the leather. I used this over the entire bag and then I buffed it off uh, after allowing it to dry for 15-20 minutes using a horsehair brush. I have to say of, of all the products that I used here, uh, the Saphir Canadian is probably the must-have product. I mean, this is absolutely fantastic. I did a great job taking care of this bag. It's available in a bunch of different colors from the Hanger Project. Uh, and also, uh, if you don't want to introduce any pigment, uh, the Saphir Canadian is available in a neutral uh, just for conditioning uh, and protection of the bag. And then lastly, I use the Saphir Renovating Repair Cream, which is that you know, really thick uh, pigment and resin uh, um, cream that I used just to touch up some of the more damaged areas like the uh, edges of the bag, uh, which always become the most uh, discolored uh, and the most damaged. All of these products, in addition to the largest collection of luxury shoe care accessories available anywhere in the world, uh, of course are available on hangerproject.com. You know, one's briefcase really becomes a part of their identity, and so uh, this bag, although you know really beaten up, has traveled the world with me. I've got some great memories with this piece, uh, and I don't think that there is uh, anything that would have me replace this. So it's important for me to take care of this briefcase so that it can look great uh, on the many future adventures that I'm sure we'll be on together. In today's video, I'm wearing a cream linen suit from Famosa, which is a, a Neapolitan tailor. As you can see, it has a double pick stitch around the edge um, and is an absolutely great jacket uh, or suit for summertime. These trousers have a one and three quarters inch uh, turnips, which again, are great for a slightly more casual suit, uh, which linen is. I have, of course, my trademark white shirt. I'm wearing a yellow silk tie from Drake's of London. And because of the long points, I'm definitely wearing a pair of our horn collar stays. These are the two and three quarters inch collar stays uh, to keep this uh, collar controlled and lying flat. And a beautiful linen pocket square from Simono Godard, uh, which has an absolutely lovely uh, blue and dark navy uh, pinstripe around the border. I also have on my Cleverly Russian Reindeer uh, Split Toe Derbies with a pair of linen socks. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications by clicking the bell to the right of the subscribe button so that you can learn whenever we release new videos. If you have any questions or comments about anything we discussed on this video, please ask them in the comments section below. And of course, please visit hangerproject.com where we have the largest, most comprehensive collection of luxury garment care and shoe care accessories in the world, as well as many other incredible products for the well-dressed. And while you are there, subscribe to our newsletter to receive notifications of new product launches, promotions, as well as a weekly digest of all the videos we publish here on our YouTube channel. I'm Kirby Allison, and we love helping the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. Thanks for joining me.